Little Boosie has disowned his gay daughter and he has his reasons. There are two sides to every story, but there's only one backstory. Little Bootsy sat with a disgusted scowl on his face in a therapist's office. The Louisiana rapper was reluctantly forced into therapy by the court. The reasonably beautiful therapist in his eye line helped settle his nerves. Nicole Spigner was a Howard graduate with kindness and empathy in her gaze. Shall we get started? Do I have a choice? Let's talk about your daughter's lifestyle. Uh-uh, that's personal. Well, the courts ordered you here. I suggest we make the best of our session. Why does it bother you that your daughter is gay? Boosie's nostrils flared. His blood rippled under his deep mahogany skin. I just think a woman belongs with a man. It's God's plan, not mine's. Nicole jotted down her observations while examining the self-inflicting discomfort on his face. Why are you having an emotional reaction to her choice? Bootsy peered incessantly somewhere on the other side of the room. Disoriented, a ting of sadness washed over his face. Suddenly, her words startled him. Bootsy, Bootsy, what are you looking at? Bootsy had a brief hesitation before a delayed exhale. Okay, you want the truth? I'll give you the truth. I was nine, maybe 10 years old. A 10 year old Bootsy plopped down in front of his television watching Purple Rain. The stolen moments between Prince and Apollonia intrigued him. His oval shaped eyes grew immensely stimulated by Apollonia's beauty. Without notice, Bootsy tore himself away from the memory. Why did you stop? Something happened. She was appealing, intriguing, mesmerizing, and so was he. Nicole leaned forward, engaged and interested. Did you find Prince attractive? I don't know. No, no, no. Why are you trying to make me like that? I'm not. Studies have shown that all humans are somewhat attracted to someone of the same sex, and I personally think it's designed that way. See, there you go with that agenda. What agenda, Boosie? The non-Christian emasculation of black men. Nicole relaxed in her chair and pursed her lips. Do you consider yourself a Christian? Yeah, I do. I have Jesus running all through my veins. A fierce passion burned inside her. She was like a rumbling earthquake ready to erupt. So, 